Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working on this baby. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and let's grow the channel. Share, share, share. And hit the little button so you know when my videos are coming, so you'll be the first one to watch them. As you guys know, I cannot film every jet ski that I work on. We'll have like 20 videos a week. I just do the ones that is interesting, the things that I can teach you something, and just fun stuff. This jet ski, I wasn't gonna film, you guys can see, I already started working on it, but there's a lot of things wrong with this ski, and I figure it will be a pretty good video because it's basically stuck. First thing, the ski has over almost 200 hours, so the super chest you gotta go. I already took it out, it has, a, it has play, it has played on it. So it needs to be rebuilt or buy a new one. This guy, he's like, new is new. Do what you gotta do, three like it's your own, and send me the bill. I like clients like that. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool, and he rides. This thing, what year is this? Let's see what year it is. It's a 22. A 22 with almost 200 hours, that's crazy. So he rides on the weekends, on the weekdays, whenever he's bored, he say, he lives in the intercoaster and he looks outside and say, oh, look at that, look at this. The sun coming up and there's no wakes and it's flat. Let's go ride. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Hmm. Anyway, we just got a brand new supercharger, Sidu, original for this ski. We also put in a filter on, a shorty. We took this piece out and the inner cooler, since it almost got 200 hours, it had a little bit of water. It's definitely seen better days. So we put in a fizzle, of course. I also noticed, um, it's also due for an oil change, so we're gonna do an oil change on it. Also notice the clamps. This, it has an aftermarket exhaust. All the clamps, look at that, I didn't even touch this and it just came off. You see how rusty they are? And they're rusty over there. I mean, they're so rusty that it made a stain on the hull. <laughs> Wow, I've never seen that before. So before they break, we're just gonna replace all the clamps. It looks like it has a shorty water box. He rides on salt water. I tell you what, it's not bad. I mean, he, he said he takes care of it and I can see. I'm a little rusty on the dry shaft, but not too bad. We're gonna replace a carbon seal because, you know, almost 200 hours. And another thing that is wrong is this button right here works when it wants to. The down position on the on the IBR wants to work when it wants to. So we're replacing that. I think that's about it. Now, another thing that I'm doing is I'm gonna do the right play on this ski and see what we can get. It's mid seventies right now. Let's see with the right play, with the air intake, with the fissile unit cooler, it has a scum. To cut the carbon seal like I suspected, it is bad. Now, just to give you guys an idea, there shouldn't be this much water inside. You see how it splashes it? There's water everywhere, everywhere in here. If you look in here, see there's salt water. So that means water is getting in somewhere. And if I have to give it a good guess, it's the carbon seal. Unless you got something else going on. So this is bad. This is, you know, 200 hours. This is bad. Now, what's impressive is the dry shaft is pretty good. This is where it seals. As you guys can see, there's three oil rings there. So the water doesn't go through here. The water, most of the time, it goes, comes out through here inside the hole. But if these three oil rings are not sealing here because this part looks like this, then you have a problem. But this dry shaft, we can save it. We can save him a little bit of money. This is fine. All right, let's keep moving. I knew there was a reason why I was doing this video. Something tell me to do a video. Hmm. Guys, 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 you have to check your jet skis. This is the third jet ski from 2000, the new ones. Uh, I don't remember, you have to look back on my videos. Or if you follow me, you will know. <laughs> Look what I just found, and this is concerning. I started looking around like I always do. I always start poking around and 
because you know i only work on sidus and i i know certain things to touch this to touch that to check them you know we got a surprise this is the bolt for the integrate look at this it's loose that's not good if that nut comes loose and the integrate will go like this and break off, you're gonna get hurt. Yeah, this is serious. This is the third jet ski that I found like this. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's from the factory. I don't know if it's, I don't know. I don't have answers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the bolt. We're gonna put silicone on it. We're gonna reinstall it. And we're gonna put Loctite on the actual nut, which you shouldn't because it's a lock washer. But since it's used, we're gonna put Loctite on it. So just little things that I tell you guys so you don't waste your money and you'll be safe on the water. Guys, I cannot make these things up. Look at this, look how shiny the nut is. And over here on the washer, you see on the corners how shiny it is? This has been like this for a while. I wouldn't doubt it if this was like this from the factory. Because like I say, it's a, it's a lock washer. Lock nut, not washer. And you can see how it's shiny. So yeah, it's been loose for a while. All right, it's back on. We're playing your silicone. Now. We move on. All right, when it comes down to the carbon seal, I like the OEM kit that comes with the rubber, the carbon ring and everything. It's the whole kit, and this is the reason why. If you look at this too, the one that was on the jet ski, it's it shrunk. So it doesn't have the same pressure. See how this one is bigger? If we put them here, you can see right there. You can see right there how this one, the one that was on the jet ski shrunk. So it's not the same pressure anymore. Then, like I always say, you have to compare the two carbon rings. Make sure that it's the same thing. Not so much the height, but in here, where, where this clip goes. Make sure that it's the same, it's, it's on the same spot. Because this determines how much pressure you get on the carbon ring. So just little tips so you guys don't waste your money. All right, something else that I noticed is uh, the customer brought a aftermarket, just one hose of from the inner cooler to the throw body aftermarket. I put it on the inner cooler like I usually do. I put both hoses in the inner cooler and then I, it makes it easier. And then I put it in the hall and I connect it. Well, it was too long. I've never seen that. I don't know why. Um, here it is. It's this orange. So this one is right here. And then as you can see, it's way longer. It's easily two inches longer. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't understand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. So just for you guys, if you have one of these oranges uh, hoses, you might want to compare it to your stock one make sure that it's the right length so you don't waste your time all right look at this beauty brand new supercharger hey like the owners say you can be brand new hmm let me install it and see what we got all right guys so we are ready to go to the lake we got it hooked up to the metric and we are ready to go he did say that he usually gets between 73 to 74 miles per hour. Let's see if we can beat that. Hmm, and remember, this thing only has a scum. There's no flash, there's nothing. Stock prop, hasn't been drilled for air, nothing. It's basically stock, just a little tricks that we did. Let's see what numbers we are gonna get.
went at 77, so that's pretty good. I think that's the best he ever got in this game, so that's pretty good. Let's see what we can get now that it's warm up. the trim a little bit down and see what it does and let's go again Now remember, we got another 77 back to back. This, this ski is basically stuck. I did the right play because I noticed that the right play was really bad. Just a scum. There's no, there's no flash, there's nothing on this. I'm with the seat on, haven't drilled it for air or nothing. So I think 77 is pretty good in my book. Let's see if it doesn't rain. See if we get a reaction from the owner. See what happened. A few moments later. All right, guys. So we are here at the lake with the man. Man, I, you know what? I I like this guy. This guy is real. What's up, bro? My man. What's going on, Ernesto? So are you are you excited? Absolutely. To maybe run one to two miles faster? Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we were talking all the way, all the way around. <laughs> we were talking, and and you were saying like, I just don't care about speed. I just want to get on this thing and just floor it and relax. Absolutely. Separation. From separation. Separation from the rat race. <laughs> you know? Everybody's working nine to fives, you know? And we do this. What's cool about him, he lives in Intracosa and you just get on your jet ski and just go. You catch me on the ski tomorrow morning, 6.15 a.m. <laughs> Hammered. Man, this guy lives a life. Music on, blasting, <laughs> exhaust. Maybe people don't necessarily take kindly to it tomorrow morning. <laughs> I don't care. It's my separation. You know? That's it, baby. That's it. All right. Let's put it in the water and let's see what we got. Sitting back. I thought he was just gonna lay, sit down, and that's it. But no, he's leaning back. We'll see.
<laughs> I got a feeling I'm gonna see him pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can't get enough of this. Huh. We're definitely gonna see him pretty soon. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So, what do you think? A little bit faster. I, I just love this ski. <laughs> I just love this ski. <laughs> it's insane. It, it, I mean, since day it's one, a little bit faster. Yeah, I mean, no, it gets off. Yeah, it's off. Yeah. It needed it needed it to be tuned anyhow. Listen, tomorrow morning, I don't have quite the distance that I to, to get to get like that next couple. Listen, it just gets off. It gets off. It needed to be tuned up. I yes, yeah, there's there's yeah that that take off is just insane. nice. That that the acceleration on this ski is is really <laughs> and we'll get there. Yep. We're on stage one now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Probably sooner than later. Sounds good. Appreciate you. Thanks. No problem, my yeah. friend. And this is why I do this. People like Brad, that they they just so happy and they, they're they not worried about, oh, you, you promised me uh, this man is a quarter of a mile from what you promised. He just wants something that goes decent fast, reliable, and he can have fun. And that in my book is priceless. Hey, you I, know, you know, Ernesto, you know why I'm a fan of yours? Because you're passionate about this. Like I'm passionate about about the ski, about life, about everything in general. Solid connection from, yeah. from the first time I worked with you. And I'll definitely work with you in the future. Oh, like hundreds. all the little things, you know, the what little clamps and this and that. Yeah, and listen, you, I said, <laughs> I said, yo, if if you needed a friend or a family member to place through drug and alcohol treatment or like substance use, you would call me because that's what I do. Yeah. For a jet ski, I call you. I put it in your hands. I said, unless it's some crazy astronomical big deal that we need to do, just handle it. Yep. And you handled it. All the little ins and outs. Yep. Like you said, the exhaust clamps, the seals, the different things, the, the physical intercooler, the... Yeah, we did it all. Why, yeah. yeah, it's a trustworthy, solid relationship between you and I for sure. We'll work together many times in the future. Absolutely. I told you guys he was going to be back. Hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as Brad and I did making it. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And let's grow the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Here we go. Now, this guy wants to do it now. It's raining outside. Hmm, that's a lot of rain. And a plane, and a plane goes by. <laughs> Seven seconds later. All right. Now, looks like this. Okay, let's start over again. It's the same on the, um, and, so, and, so, and, so, so, and, so, so, uh, it's, so, um, and, I, and, 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 um, and, um, um, but, um, 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 and we'll see, I haven't, we have to see, we're buying, he's on this, the, yeah. we'll buy a new one, guys, I cannot make this thing, 
Okay, let's start over again. Eh, ahí va que pinga. Ese que pinga. Que pinga va por ahí. We're back on this key. Señor Miller. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.